Do you mind if we film a little bit or no? Sure. Okay. Oh, that's fast. Oh, God. Oh, God. That might be the biggest of the day. Let me get out of your way. Oh, gosh. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is bright and early. We're out here with MDLR. We're out here with Christian. We're going to hit some banks. We got a lot of fun stuff going on today. We're just going to get things started with some bank fishing. Probably at some spots I've been kicked out of before, but I haven't visited in a while. So maybe security's done forgot about us. Oh, they really are. They really are. Thought, like, wow. Anyways, we're going to grab a couple rigs out of here and uh, get to fishing to start the festivities off. But a lot in store in today's video. Y'all stick around for this one. You don't want to miss a thing. Lenses are clean. Dang, you know what? That, uh, I don't really have anything to put it in. That mag draft could be like a beast over here. This is probably safe, huh? Cult style culture with the swim baits. Yeah, they probably are like the most against Guggens too. Like, you know, the swim bait community is so tight and niche. They see me throwing these like custom handmade swim baits on a Guggen rod and they're like, that's a disgrace. <laughs> you should only be throwing like these $500 swim bait custom rods and like Antares DC $650 monster drive reels. It's comical. Like if I have the working class zero measuring board out, that yellow board that I've been using here and there, and like a Guggen rod, people are like, oh, you're gonna get hate from the swim bait guys. <laughs> it's like, get the f out of here. So the general juice box here is right in this corner by this drain. Try and cast all the way to the corner because there's a little deep pocket. Oh wow, this is looking pretty good. All right, man, making the first few casts out here with the boys this morning. It is uh, 9 a.m. We're all throwing T-rigs to start. Oh, he's on, first, first cast. First cast. It's a nice one. We got a snag, we got a bass, and then there's me. <laughs> all right, Mark just released the first fish of the day. Was that on the bottom or were you kind of like swimming it or? Just, yeah, just barely. Along, yeah. Cool. What color do they call this? That, it's called sprayed lettuce. So <laughs> you, you know, Peric and his lettuce thing. Yeah. And his, yep. So that's a, it's a new color. It's called sprayed lettuce. I don't know how this is gonna work. That's my bad. I'm sorry. Look, it's open. Holy hallelujah! Don't let me slap you in the face. We got rods everywhere. No way, dude. You might have a good one. What is going on with you? First cast at every spot we go to. What is even happening? I never even have this good of luck in my own spots. Dude, what a way to start today's video. Break your wrist. By the way, Mark and Christian are up from Houston and they brought their saltwater gear, which is a little bit lighter. They don't have a whole lot of cover where they're fishing. Uh, you guys are typically going for reds and trout and uh, all that stuff down on the coast, or, or not at the coast, not at the- Yeah, it's coastal. Uh, coastal. It's and so uh, what I'm getting at is they brought some like medium rods and some stuff with not a whole lot of backbone because of their usual scenario, exposed hooks, etc. right? And so we kind of hooked them up with the, I think we got a muscle rod going over there and we got a go-to rod over here. So I'm throwing some of our stuff and uh, Mark's catches so far, I've been on that bandito bug this morning. The creature bait of choice, ladies and gents. So anyways, the Southern boys are rocking the Guggen gear this morning. Let's see if we can rake up another handful here for you. I'm gonna try and let y'all take that first. Usually right along those reeds is it's worth a shot. Yeehaw, cowboy. Christian's on. Found him one in the grass. Man, Texas rigs are getting it. I might be messing up with the swim bait. I got faith in the sauce. It generally never lets us down. Double up, double up. There we go. Just as we were saying it. I was thinking I might need to switch to that Texas rig. Y'all are killing them. Saucy swimmer catch, man. Heck yes. I know there's some bigger ones in here though. We're doing good with the two pounders today, but Mark's first one was definitely the biggest catch so far. <laughs> there goes launch on number one, blast off on number two, baby. That's how we do it. Mine hitting the shade over there. I launched it to that corner. If one of y'all decides you want to switch up at any point, this is a right hander for this swim bait and I'll go to the Texas rig. So if y'all want to try something different, just holler at me. Dude, speaking of some bluegill swim baits out here, that could, that could catch a tank. It oh, you got him. You got him. <laughs> nice. Wow, dude, Christian and I just coming off a double up. Christian and I just coming off a double up. And Mark is over here. I think that's five fish on the morning, maybe. Prominent lateral line. Ha! Awesome. 
I won't lie, y'all. I think we caught them on lunch hour because yeah. sometimes I'll be here and, you know, one fish maybe. We've been fortunate so far, y'all. Let's see if we can grab us another handful. What a day. And I got a special surprise for you guys at 10.30 a.m. So in an hour, we got something pretty crazy for you guys. I think you're going to enjoy it. That could end up being like the next 30 seconds for you guys in the video, by the way. <laughs> but it's an hour for us. So you're not going to have to watch an hour-long video today. Don't worry. <laughs> oh! There he is, we got one out deep. Come on, oh, rats. Ah. They're biting, man. That was maybe 20 feet off the ledge, but I was just hitting that line. It's real shallow over there, but then it tapers nicely. I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna jinx myself, but we've had a pretty daggum good hookup ratio with uh, this whole setup right here. So I will say I'm a little shocked there, but life comes at you fast. Are you in good hands? <laughs> is that the right reference? <laughs> Wonder how many people in here just made a few hundred thousand off of AMC bought and sold day traders in this community that's that's funny to think about <laughs> amc stock baby <laughs> yeah she started dipping a little bit yesterday y'all but if you want to know our position on amc like at this current point in time we got uh, 30 shares on robin hood at an average cost of 41 because i've just been buying more and more so we're up 320 bucks on robin hood right now with our 30 shares but if it hits 65 bucks or whatever i think it jumps to about like 800 or 840 bucks total return we've already hit those numbers a couple times in the last couple days and then over on webull we got another six shares and the average price is that's when i originally bought in the average price is 13 1360 I bought six shares there. So we're up 230 bucks on our Webull six shares, and we're literally up to 320 bucks on our more Robinhood shares, the higher cost average. So we're like 500 bucks in the money at this very moment on AMC stock. It is Friday the 4th, 9.47 in the morning. We are about to go pick up this uh, mystery item for you guys. I think you're gonna enjoy. Catch anything? Well, we got almost five, I think, between the three of us so far this morning. It's been, it's been all right. <laughs> Uh, what would you catch? The big two, one was maybe two to three pounds, somewhere around there. Nothing huge yet. Lay, laying towards the two pound side. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Oh, that's good. That's how you don't break rods, ladies and gents. All right, y'all, to the surprise. Okay, I was gonna say I just saw a ring doorbell alert. I knew she stepped outside, but all right, should be here any minute. Zeke, what is it, man? What is it, Zeke? He's in the room with y'all. By the way, we have another video where we introduce uh, this puppy that we got home that we're kind of fostering slash maybe keeping. But anyways, here's Finn, y'all. Finn, say hi. This literally might be the first time any of our audience has ever seen you. I haven't posted you on any story posts or nothing yet, man. All the surprises you guys may be aware of or may not. I didn't make it too public, but both of our bulldogs, Juno and Otis, actually passed in 2020. Uh, different health issues. And so it's just been Zeke in the house, minus the cats. And uh, anyways, we, we found we found young blood right here on, uh, I think she found him on Craigslist for free. So we're just gearing up to show you guys this uh, other surprise. He's not the surprise actually, believe it or not. He's awesome, but we got another surprise for y'all here in just a second, so don't go anywhere. What have you got in here, by the way? So this is the uh, telephoto for getting the close-up, slow-mo, B-roll shots out there. Wow. Like birds uh, trying to get reds, schooling, tailing, whatever the case may be, so Sony. G Master right there, one to four hundred. Then the, feel uh, free to shoe him so he doesn't get hair in your system. Oh no, he's off. Percy, Percy's <laughs> so Percy's literally there. laid down. On yeah, the lenses and that's what our cats will do. As soon as there's like a box yeah. open or something, they're in yeah. it. As soon as there's a package open, it's just game over. Dudes, that's a one to four hundred zoom that he did. Yeah. Fishing channel. Yeah. I mean, you know you're you know you're after the quality and the good looks when you get the one to four hundred. That's some B-roll if I ever heard about it. I wanted to also have you guys showcase your camera systems because they're typically doing kayak videos. Y'all would not believe oh, their yeah. rigs. Check this out. I'm gonna give us a little extra light in here. By the way, Mark and Christian, we've collaborated a couple times over the years. Be sure to check them out down in the description. I'm sure the surprise is almost here. So we're gonna be quick and show you their uh, little rig right here. Got it right here. Most guys will, pounding the banks, you're gonna use a chesty, but out there when you're fixed to a kayak seat, uh, a lot of action happens behind you sometimes, so if you're turning, the chesty's not gonna get it. This right here will get you dizzy, but if you learn to just watch, uh, you can actually turn your head around. It's just a GoPro mounted to a hat. Is it like a custom? No, the, the, you can go on Amazon, it's Action Hat, and they got DIY kits. It's got some foamy inside there to protect your head from giving you headaches and stuff like that, yeah. and it allows you, once the hat gets pretty you know stanky uh you can swap it out put it on a new one so we just basically use this right here and everything is all contained so 
nice. I, I love the idea of it, and I know specifically for like kayak content, yeah. it makes so much sense and will absolutely, I think, look better than a, a chest mount where all you see is your knees and the half a catch. But oh, I think it's here. Do you mind if we film a little bit or no? Sure. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Surprise, surprise, ma'am. GMC hooking it up with another off-road capable SUV for uh, a week or two of content for you guys. I am freaking pumped. Sweet, sweet. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Do you need me to sign off on anything no, or no? It's, okay. it's all good? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start transferring some fishing gear, man. We're going to hit the rest of the ponds today in the uh, AT4 Yukon. Big shout out to GMC. Let's go ahead and get to it. Appreciate that. Thank you, man. Yeah. I haven't seen one like this before. This is a 21 or a 20? 20 21. Cool. I don't know what to say about it yet. We're gonna have to do the uh, on the drive review here in just a second. Ooh, look at this though. Look at this. Whoa, there we go. Dude, we got the khaki interior. Holy smokes. Wait a minute. You mean we can take the whole gang fishing with us? What? Oh, no. <laughs> this is driveway first impressions at its finest right here. Dude, my passengers got iPads. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Is this real life? You said these were HD? Dude, Christian. This is so much better than the Tundra right now. Look at this. You got your conditioning, you got heated seats, you got charging. You can charge your gear back here. Woo! And I think we're gonna actually be potentially uploading some videos from this bad boy. They said they included the Wi-Fi with it. This is gonna be an absolute blast. I'd say this one's got the bells and whistles. Oh, this one has the, okay, so the steps. When we got the truck, it didn't have the, I believe this is the, I think they do. Yeah, yeah they do. No. Sick. Okay, we'll take it. Appreciate you guys. Okay, how many Guggen rods am I gonna snap? <sighs> Man, I hate to do it to this nice interior, but look, those rods are going in. Don't hit nothing. Oh, panoramic sunroof. Is that back? No. Is that back? Ooh. Wait a <laughs> minute, dude. <laughs> Yo. I didn't necessarily want it to open. It's a little hot, but. Y'all, do those Guggen rods not look so much greener in this thing? Look at those golds. They go with the interior. It is absolute madness. Everything we got in here, we're just gonna transfer over to the, the Yukon. Let me see, how does this work? Touch and go? Touch and go. Dude, this is too fancy for the Weston Smith channel, man. Look, we don't have, we do not have a tailgate in the Tundra. We're gonna take advantage of this. We're gonna keep this interior spick and span clean as a whistle. You hear me? And we're gonna put all the goodies right in the back. It's just, it's a good day. I think GMC's about to put us on a hot bite. What is this? Yo, Mark. If I hit this, does that do, what? Wait a second. It folded the headrest down too. Oh, it's gonna, it's, oh. Broke it first day, dude. Well, we're done here. Sorry, GMC. Okay, I don't have the key, but we just unlocked the doors. So it's guaranteed to be in here. I definitely dropped it. Is it in here? Now this is deceiving because they might have two keys. There might be a spare in here. I might need to run in the house. Okay, so we broke the tailgate and we lost the key. Things are looking good. I'm gonna start it for y'all. I just assume there might be another key in here. Oh my, park reverse neutral drive. First you pull on it to go into reverse. Low four. Wow. Let me check the house. Just kidding. Found it. It was under the Dasani. Ready to rock. So far we haven't even made it out of the driveway and we're playing with the cameras. <laughs> this is to view the hitch. There's your blind Side spots. Scan. Yeah, dude, what on? <laughs> earth there's the hitch that's not there otherwise we could make sure we're like perfectly lined up maybe you got like a whole bunch of stuff in the back and you can't see your trailer and you want to make sure you're lined up i mean this is just next level look at this park reverse neutral drive you got to pull it foot, foot on the brake of course but pull to drive pull to reverse park is just a press you just press park she's loaded y'all we're going to give you the full rundown here at some point today in the video but for now we we got to definitely get on some fish before the boys head back to houston working on setting up car play real quick the blinkers sound expensive. Mm -hmm. Makes the tundra sound like <laughs> And hopefully we don't get the boot real fast. We're just gonna park over by those fences. I pull up. All right, I got the gear, man. This is, I love this thing. This is crazy. I genuinely would buy this. Like, I, I didn't say that about even that Denali truck, which is crazy because of how like fancy it seemed and how sick it was. Like this interior, whoo wee. 
the wheels are sick. We got the steps. I'm excited about cranking out the content with the AT4. You guys let us know what you want to see us do with this thing. If you want to see us haul the kayaks and hit some water far away close, does not matter. If you want to see us haul the bass boat behind it, John boat, what do you want to see? Uh, it looks like there's a hitch cover. Looks like I'm gonna have to figure that thing out. I'm sure one of y'all could tell me how to get access to this bad boy, but we are not afraid to hitch that thing up and put a boat right behind her, y'all. Where should we go? Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, up north. Hit us with the comments, man. I bet you they're already on the fish, though. I gotta meet them at the water. Typically, we uh, get kicked out of here real quick. The 2021 keys are pretty slick, too. The 2020s, I think, were still that rectangular shape, if I'm not mistaken. I, I might be wrong. I quit valet last year to try and pursue YouTube full-time, so I am out of the loop now on all these keys. You found the rocks. I found them. Yeah, you found the rocks. I should have told you. Mark just immediately makes a cast or two, and he comes back over saying, I need another weight and hook. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot to advise him on this uh, specific region of this pond. It will, uh, it will take your hooks. It will take your money, man. You thought you had lunch money until you fished this pond. There's that. Oh, oh, that. I wonder if I should throw something different just because. Nah, probably not. You have inspired me today with the sprayed lettuce bandito bug. <laughs> Hold on to these ones. Yep. All right, y'all, don't be fooled. This is not a pack of Kraken Crawls. That's actually a, uh, oh, that's very safe. <laughs> Gonna have to switch out and go to my charge power bank number two. I forgot I was using this one all day yesterday. I didn't charge it at all, so it made it for the uh, first half of today's festivities. But I think it's running low. This guy would get me through probably another six to eight hours of fishing if I just leave it plugged into the GoPro, which it now is. I used to switch out GoPro batteries every hour, but now I just leave the GoPro plugged in with the power banks. Woo, there we go. Christian's on. Christian got the first one out of the spot here. Nice release. Looked like a pound and a half from here. So the Texas rigs are hitting at the second location of the day. I like it. All right, let's see. What is behind door number two? Oh, light. Oh, I have one. I have one. He feels okay. Oh, he, he looks okay, guys. He looks all right. You think so? I, I can't tell yet. He's flopping like a beast. Is it really? Oh, gosh. He's, he's oh, God. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. Way out there behind door number two, y'all. Wow. Oh shoot, he's been caught before when he in his younger days. He's had that left lip taken care of and he's been hooked in the top of the mouth Interesting this guy's been caught a couple times y'all Should have learned, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a new it's a new color of the bandy. It's a new one. They haven't seen yet <laughs> Solid Texas bass man solid North Texas bass. I should say for y'all <laughs> Sweet you still got us beat mark biggest of the day goes to you so far. You know what? Let's even get a little Instagram story post because I've been slacking on my catches today. There you go He saw that thing at the surface dude Soon as it hit the water, just only a second later, I felt the tap, so I tightened up a little bit. Yep. I thought it might have been a bluegill. I won't lie, I was thinking three and a half to four pounds when I saw it breaching the surface out there. That's my first fish in a hot minute, though. I found the good luck post. Here's my spot. This is the good luck cast. Oh, see? It is the good luck spot. Just not for me. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest of the day, ain't it? That might be the biggest of the day. Let me get out of your way. Oh, gosh. That's the biggest of the day. That's a good one. Don't let me get you get in your way. Dude, solid. That's what we're looking for. He said we're staying another night. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, come here. Look, it's like, it's like a thousand catfish. That's little baby cats, be. right? It's gotta be. Those ain't tadpoles. Dude, look mm -hmm. at them scurrying. Oh my gosh. This creature baits are money. That was a, that was a, that was a bass. I don't know how big. If we get kicked out over here, it's gonna be like the walk of shame. We're not right by the truck. They'll be following us through the whole neighborhood. Like, okay, that would be great. Oh, there we go, that's classic. Guaranteed to get a bite while I'm dealing with this. Oh, a bite? Oh, that was that was not a bass. It was a, it was a tug tug, but I just said, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> cut, take two, cut. In fact, let's take five. Coffee break. Oh, that's a bass. Little guy, he, he, he took it and ran, dude. He split. Take three, action. Biggest dink of the day. That's a fat dink right there. That's a big old dink. We'll see you, bud. We might have had canes last time we met up. No, I don't think so. I was gonna say, have y'all had canes? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was a time where I fished like, uh-oh. Oh, he oh. oh. oh, got me good. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, I heard it. Quarter ounce tungsten. Hey, that's dense. That tungsten is quality right there. Look, if y'all want to grab any of that, Carl's bait and tackle. I mean, it 
<laughs> that is some stuff right there. I wasn't filming because I just saved my clip. <laughs> I'm gonna need that footage. How did I not get hooked? You guys just missed it on my from my vantage point. Uh, <laughs> Mark just set the hook. I was in the line of fire, got smacked. I was telling y'all, dude, that tungsten is dense. John B actually got me in the forehead with like a quarter or half ounce jig. It was like one of the first times we fished together, but we were fishing beds. We were both leaning over his boat, like watching it eat, <laughs> and he just missed it. We deserve a five after that. Christian deserves a PB after that. I'll let y'all take this little deep pocket and I'll cast off the corner and see if there's any thing hanging out. You said there's three of them? We got them. Oh, they really are. They really yeah, are. Thought, I was like, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He ran. He took that thing. Oh, wow. That was shocking. I mean, he about pulled the rod out of my hands, dude. I, that, was a, that was an awkward hook set because he like pulled it. I tried to crank down on him. Here I am telling them, I gave you all the good spot. Let me just cast off this point and see if I can get lucky. And then I end up catching one. This is the palest bass of the day. This is so sandy over here. There's less grass. And so I think they're just trying to uh, blend in chameleon style. That's at least my hot take and all my three years of fishing experience. So I'm no pro, but you know, just an assumption. You know what? Maybe we'll hit this pocket. I think we've done good here. Maybe we go try another spot or something. I heard some slippage right there. What do we got? It's staying low. Easy money. Oh, he's two and a half, at, yo. He's two and a half at least. You got the straight braid. Ain't nothing but cranking power. The scale for me. Let's see what we got. This is all maybe you. Maybe a three. It's somewhere around three and a half, it looks like. 3.3. 3. 3. That's still a solid fish, dude. Nice. Honestly, in my head, I was like, all right, this is my last cast. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, all right, well, we hit the corner. We might as well pack her up. Did you guys catch any fish? He just got a good one right over here. Yeah, we got lucky. Holy gee whiz. Seven fishermen here now. And we make 10. 10 fishermen at one pond. No hot dogs, okay, good. There's a hot dog ban today, so no hot dogs. <laughs> Dude, look at these headlights. This thing's aggressive, man. It's got red accents down here on the toe. What? Might be time for lunch and then on some more bass, potentially. I like the way the winds are blowing and the clouds are showing. Let's make that move. We are here, ladies and gents. Time for some chicken. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. This one's mine. Yours? Yeah. Jeez. Price tag on that bad boy. Were they what, under 200? Damn. It's gonna catch some monsters. You'd flip shit if I walked out here without him. You're like, you left me. Don't go jumping off. You a boat dog? Finn, are you a boat dog? That's called Minn Kota. He's like, one day. Uh, I, we got, we, we got you. Uh, yep. Legless <laughs> <laughs> Take our little, all these little skinny rods. <laughs> all these uh, We were severely outgunned. I caught a fish on mine. That's it's cool. so tiny compared to the autopilot. Yeah, this one's a PDL. Okay. And the autopilot, well, y'all know what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I know for myself and Christian, I don't know, did you enjoy it? Oh, I had, man, it was, it was a killer time. Yeah, I, I had a blast. Being able to catch five pound bass, that's like nothing to shake a stick at, especially down south when you don't have those ponds there, but enjoyed it, finished up with some canes, and now I hope you're gonna enjoy what Weston has in store for you. Got that brand new AT4 in the driveway, so I hope you enjoy. Say, so, see you guys. See ya. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the part of the video where if you would love to drop a subscribe, hit the like button, help out the algorithm, push this video out to more folks who enjoy bass fishing content, we would appreciate the support. It really does help and means so much. I apologize if the audio was just peaking. I forgot to dial in the mic settings and I just realized it for this external mic, but walking around to the front, I just wanted to say thank each and every one of you for your continuous support over here and on our Instagram page, which has essentially allowed us this opportunity. GMC reached out, asked if we wanted to be part of another campaign with them and said, what would you like? And we had the truck last time. I figured we'd do something a little bit different for y'all. Hopefully it was a pleasant surprise. If so, go ahead and let us know down in the comments what you want us to do with this thing. And uh, we plan on maybe taking a little trip. We've got it for some time. We can make some videos with it for you guys. Uh, I put out a little feeler on Instagram, a questionnaire, if you will, asking what you guys wanted to see first, the majority share.
said you wanted a full tour. So we're gonna go ahead and run through it very quickly. I'm low on battery life, my mics are getting low, man. We've been out filming the last couple days while they've been up from Houston, and I tell you what, it has been jam-packed action non-stop throughout the day, so let's get into things. First of all, lock and unlock on every door, right? I got the key fob in my pocket. It's 2021, these vehicles are getting crazy. As Soon as you open the doors though, boom, this is what we were lacking on that Denali when we had it. They didn't have the uh, automatic steps, which is perfectly fine. Beast of a truck. Hauled the hot tamale like it was literally a paperweight. But stepping inside the cabin, let me bump up the exposure. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, I know you guys got a glimpse of this like when we first received it, but look at this interior. It is money, absolute money. Look at this back, look at this back seat. I'm gonna give you the perspective if you were back here. Check this out. Ugh. Like, just, just insane. Christian was saying earlier sitting back here that he could like literally navigate for us. He had the maps pulled up on the back screens here. I mean, I literally could not cover everything in this first impressions video, but I'm giving you the tour like you had requested. So we're gonna cover what we know about this thing and find out a lot more while we have it. GMC said they included Wi-Fi for us. So maybe we can upload a couple videos from the old Yukon if we do some camping trips. I don't know if that's, some, if that's in the cards as far as what you guys wanna see. I tend to see a whole lot of camping videos and I've been so slacking on like actually making one. So we need to go camping, but look at this. Heated rear seats, you got charging for your passengers, man. They got their own climate control. Cup holders for days. Is this put, I didn't even mess with the gas. Yeah, so a little push to open, push to lock. I assume that probably locks when the vehicle locks. You got just the one touch system for the tailgate, right? So you just tap that thing, boom, up and at them. I know you guys caught that as well as we got it dropped off. I don't even know what these do. It says two times. Yeah, see, I don't know what they do. We got a power outlet back here. We got top, te okay, okay, so you know, maybe we get a car seat for the puppy, I don't know. Looks like that's what that's made for. We got whatever this is, I guess maybe you just like put a rope and you pull some people on a sled or something, I don't know. This right here is for like a rear cargo cover, I know that. There we go, got a little storage under here. I feel like I'm giving you guys a tour of the trunk, which there's no need for, so let's close that. I literally can't get over like this coffee interior with the black, I mean, it's, that's my favorite part. I mean, I'm no car review channel, but that's stitching right there. What? Can accommodate multiple bandito bugs and saucy swimmers, just in case you were wondering. Plenty of room. Ain't even gonna be hitting your passengers in the face, man. Too much space. AT4 right there in the headrest. Although maybe we should just cut that out and put some GS logos and return it with that. I don't know, Google Squad. By the way, the front end is beast mode. I'm looking at the camera right now and it just doesn't portray how bad to the bone this thing actually looks in person. It looks three times more aggressive here in person with these red accents and like the lights, it's just, it's different. So we were also offered like if we wanted a Yukon XL, like a Denali, but they mentioned they had an AT4 and I was kind of hoping it had white with black accents just because of that contrast. And I could not be happier that's how it turned out. Literally, I don't know the color that they're sending me. I, I was just like, sure, AT4, sounds good. But look at the two-tone wheels with this thing. Everything is just, it's over the top. Automatic everything. It has a heads up display. So I'm able to see the speed limit, the direction I'm traveling, traffic information, uh, radio information. Let's just crank it up just over 2,400 miles on her. Startup screen. Oh, no music. My favorite feature by far is Apple CarPlay because it's wireless. You can do everything. You can stream your music, have your maps going just like it's on your iPhone on here. I think it also works with Android. So, you, you know, you got that for y'all wackos. And then also it's got wireless charging. In fact, let me demonstrate. Give it just a second. It likes to, it, it takes like three seconds to load. One, oh, see? Bam, charging. Heated and air-conditioned seats, y'all probably expected that, but you could do just heat on like the back if you want. So if you got like that lower back, just feeling good after a long day of fishing, boom, just heat up the, the back. I can dig it. AC seats, you know summertime's coming. Got some room up here for some goodies. Never know when you might need the polarized gill goggles right there, link in description. Those are gonna come in clutch when you got a five pounder on the line and you can't see if it's a five pounder or not until you put the shades on and then you're like, oh, we need the net on this one. It comes in handy. I don't know what this is. Can I push that? I don't know what this is. I think it just doesn't open. Whoa, it's literally just a cubby. Cool. What did I do? I accidentally hit the flashers. Oh, there we go. You guys will like this because I didn't really cover it earlier. I know I mentioned it, but it's park as a button. Reverse, you pull on it to go into reverse and you got your cameras, right? Then neutral, you know, if you're 
rolling down a hill, I guess. And then you got drive. Oh, see, I wanted to push it because a lot of vehicles are push. Maybe people were like pressing buttons and the feedback from like different manufacturers was that they didn't like the push or maybe somebody said, no, that's mine and you can't make push buttons, only we can. And so you have to pull to go into drive or reverse, which I think is good. You just got to get used to it. And then you got low for like four wheel drive. It says first shift to drive, then try again. So drive. Oh yeah, I got to pull it. Wow, I'm forgetful. And then hit that. Now I'm in L1, so am I in just low gear, like in rear wheel drive, or am I in like low four wheel drive? Interesting, I don't know. Vehicle update is available. I mean, this is too fancy. I don't even know what else I need to cover, man. I'm not a car review guy. Like it's got a freaking brake pedal, it's got gas. Like I don't know, what, what am I supposed to talk about now? AC blows ice cold, I don't know. Like what am I, what do I do here? Do I end the video? Do I ask questions? Do I go fishing? Do we, do we go off road? We need to take it off road. She's too clean, man. Should we give her a nice mud bath? Anyways, you guys let us know. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate everything once again. I probably missed so much stuff on this. You guys are just going to have to let me know down in the comments what else you want to know in these future videos while we've got it. Do consider subscribing if you're not already. I know the majority of my viewers are return viewers, but they're not actual subscribers. So consider that one on the way out. You guys, notifications to all. You know the whole deal. Like, subscribe, the whole thing. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.